All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Kayla. I work here at KRM in the Family and Youth Services Program. And today we're giving you lots of information for back to school. Jambo sana. Leo tunatatu wafundishe na tuambie kitu chenye kita chenye mutatakiwa mufanye wakati ya kurudi kumasomu. So first, we want you to know that school is five days a week, but there are no classes on Saturday or Sunday. Sasa, tunataka tuwajuishe kama masomo itakuwa ni siku tano, na hizo siku tano itakuwa ni kuenda kumasomo. Siku ya sita na siku ya mungu, hakuna masomo. Na muangale kama kalendiria ya masomo kila siku mpe muna yangalia. So now we will look at the school calendar. So this is something very helpful for you to have. So you know the days that your child does not have school. So over here on this side, you will see the red, which means that there is no school. If you see yellow on the calendar, that is for bad weather, like when it snows and school is closed. And then these orange marks are for the first day of school, which is August 11th, and the last day, which is May 26th. Sasa hii tunona hapa hii ya kwanza nyekundu inaonesha kama hakuna masomo. Yani kalendire nyetuko na hiyo hapa. Ukiona hii tare hiko na hii nyekundu. Na manisha kama kuna masomu. Na ikukua kami inuanekana kama ni manjano itakuwa ni siku zenye atuna masomo juu ya tuseme piko baridi mingi ama piko snow. Ikikuwa inuanesha hivi sasa ndo tunasema kama atuna masomu. Na hii yengine kwa pachini inuanesha kama hiko na machangwa. Inuanesha ni siku ya kwanza ya masomo na siku ya mwisho ya masomu. Tare kumina moja mwezi ya mnane itakuwa ni siku ya kwanza ya masomo. Na tare makumi mbili na sita za mwezi ya tano itakuwa ndo siku ya mwishu ya masomo. Ok, now we're going to talk about early childhood. Uh, Ita onesha tutangaria kama siku gani ya watoto enye wananza masomo. So if you have a child who is four years old by August 1st, they can attend early childhood or what we call preschool. Isa sinamanisha kama kama kona mtoto mwenye kona miaka ine ama mwenye na ikona miaka ya kuzidi ine ya ikikuwa ni mwezi ya tareye kwanza ya mwezi ya munane wanaeza kaenda kwa masomo ya kwanzia yeah, GPS, JCPS. And if they um, enroll in preschool, they will have transportation and all of their meals provided at the school. Na wakianza kuya masomo ya muanzo, watakuwa na gari ya kukua kubachukua nyumbani na chakula nyo takuwa na kulaku masomo. So this year, if your child is going to preschool, their first day of school will be Wednesday, August 25th. Kama mtoto yako anaweza kumasomo ya kwanzia, tare ya kwanza ya masomo itakuwa ni tare ya makumi mbina tano ya mwezi ya munani. And if you have any questions about uh, preschool or early childhood, you can contact Lisa here in the picture who works in our office. Kama kuna mtoto mwenye kuna miaka ine kwanzia tare ya moja ya mwezi ya munani, uneza kaita hui mama mwenye kwa hapa anatumika kiaremu, now, here are some websites that might be helpful for you. The first one is the website for JCPS, which has all of the schools in Louisville. Ia kwanza inamanisha kama ni ya JCPS, ukitaku wa ongelesha, ama kuna tatizo, neza kainda apwe kwa ya kwanza. And the next website is for the JCPS Facebook page. So here they may post important information like 
if you have snow days where school is canceled, they will post that type of information here on Facebook. Uh, na hiyo pili ni Facebook ya JCPS. Iyo ndo watakua natia kama atuna masomo juu ya snow ama baridi nyingi. Apo kwa Facebook ndo watakua natia kama atuna masomo. And this school messenger is another way that you can get um, information from your school. Uh, na hii nasema kama ni school messenger ni kama yinyu takuna kupatia masema mesaje kutoka kumasomo kama tuna masomo ama piku ngini tatizi. So if you would like to sign up to get the messages sent to your phone, you can text the letter Y to 67587. However, the messages will only be in English. Sasa kama nataka kujiunganisha na hii message yenye tutakuwa tunachukua kwa kumasomo, sasa hapa nakupatia kama utatia hii nani yenye naanza ya kwanza inasema kama ni why. Alafu utatia hizi nimero zenye ziko hapa juu kuna kamata kuna angalia message yenye natoka kumasomo. Now we're going to talk about the uniforms and dress codes for school. Sasa hapa tunatatu angelee ma uniform, ma uniform ya kumasomu. So some schools will require that your child wears a uniform, but some may not. Piko masome nye watoto yako waneza kuwa wanaenda, watabadirisha itabidi kwa navala ma uniform, na piko ngini masome wataenda itabidi kama auto kwa navala uniform, ato kwa navala mangu ya nyo wanataka. So if the school has a uniform, usually the students will wear a polo shirt and pants, or if it's a girl, they can wear a dress like the girl in the picture or skirt. Anasema kama ikikuwa ni mwanaume, atakuwa na vara pantalo, kama hivyo, atakuwa na vara pantalo ya mwausi na katirikoka mweupe, na ikikuwa kama ni mwanamuki, atakuwa na vara kama hivi, hivyo tenye kwa hapa na vara. And if there is no uniform policy, they can wear any clothes that they would like as long as they are appropriate for school. However, for all the students, we ask that they wear closed-toed shoes, not sandals or flip-flops to school. Ya alakini tuna wajulisha kama wanafunzi watu wanapasha vale biyatu ya kufungu. Hakuna kufara makamambiri. Now we will talk about the clothing assistance program. So if your family would like help to get clothing for your kids, you can request that two times a year, one time in the spring and one time in the fall. Ukitaka usaidizi ya manguo ya watoto yako, unaweza kaomba turumbini mumuaka. Ya kwanza, utanza kaomba usaidizi, masome kianza, na masome kifika katikati, unaweza kaanza kuomba ngina usaidizi ya manguo. And once the um, form has been turned in, they will give you two sets of clothes for your kids, underwear, socks, and also a bag of gently used clothing for your family. Na piko fome nya takupatia, piko papi nya takupatia, utaijaza. Na wakimaliza kujaza iyo fomu watakupatia, informi ya watoto, nguwe ya kufara mbele, na masokse, wana watakupatia, na shakosha kweba kumasomu. Now we will talk about some things that will help your student be successful in school. Hapa tunatatu angelei kitu gani mtotoka tafanya juu afanyikiwe kumasomu. So first, it is very important that your child does their homework every single day. Inamanisha kama kitu cha kwanza hapa tunatakiwa watotuenu wafanye madevuare kila siku. So be sure to check their backpack when they get home to see what homework or assignments they have. Mkwe mnaangalia mashakoshia wenye wanawewa kumasomo, wangalie madevuare ama kazi ya nyumbani nyumapatia juu wa hakikisha kama wanaijazi. 
It's also important that you give your children a bedtime to make sure that they get at least eight to nine hours of sleep every day. Na ni mzuri kwa kikisha kama mtoto yako analala masaa mnane kwa siku ama masaa tisa. Because if they don't have enough rest, they're going to be tired and then they will not focus very well when they are at school. Na kama walali mzuri, siku ya kumasoma atakuwa mechoka sana na watafotilia chenye mwalima na semu. And it's also important that your student eats breakfast every day before school. Um, and the school will provide free breakfast and lunch for them. Ni mzuri mtoto yako kukuna mbele ya kuenda kumasomo. Na ila kumasomo napatia chakula turu mbili kwa siku. Akifika kumasomo napatia nye tunaita ni breakfast. Na masa akifika katikati napatia ngine chakula tunaita lunch. And again, if they are hungry, then they will not have very good focus at school. So that is why we like them to eat breakfast every day. Tunataka wende wanakula kumasomo na wakula mzuri juu kama wakula watakua na njaa na watafotina chenye mwalimu ana wafundish. Now we're going to talk about um, school information for your child. Sasa, hapa tunatatu angelei mainformasyo ya masomo so it's very important that you know the name, the address, and the phone number of your child's school. Many times we give you all this paper here in the picture. And at the top, you can see where the arrow is pointing. It has all of the school information listed here. However, if you are not sure uh, the, the name of the school for your child and all of the information, you can ask us at KRM and we can help you. Na kama ujuu ya adrese ama nimeroza kuita kumasomo na jina masome ya mtoto yako, uneza kaita kiaremu na ambia majina mtoto yako watakusaidia kupata iyo inyunataka. And it's also important that you do not send your, school, your kid to school if they are sick. So if you notice they have a fever, a sore throat, a cough, anything like this, you want to keep them at home. Sasa tunawaomba sana kama mtoto yako unasikia kama akikwambia kama asikie mzuri kama iko na anasikia kama na gonjwa kama iko na ma, anasikia kama kichu na muuma ama anasikia kuna nyingine tatizo tunawaomba hiyo siku asiende kumasomo But if your kid is healthy and able to go to school please make sure that they wear a mask on the bus and at school Na mtoto yako kama iko mzuri iko na afya ya mzuri bila kwenda kumasomo mpatie maski ya vale juu itakuwa ni muhimu kuvala maski ya kumasomo Now we're going to talk about the school bus Sasa hivi tunataka tuangalie school bus ni bus ya kwenda kumasomo ya kwa so, wa, watoto kumasomo So it's also very important that you know where the bus stop is for your child and what time the bus will be picking them up. Ni muhimu sana kujua kwenye bus itakuwa inasimamia na masaa gani itakuwa inakuja na masaa gani itakuwa inaondoka. So again if you have this paper already the bus information will be right here on the page. Na kama uko na hapa pia niko hapa kila kitu cha bus kiko hapa kisha andikiwa hapa. If you are not sure what where the bus stop is or about any of the bus information for your child, we will also make another video that shows you how to look up the buses. Na kama ujuu igisi kwenye bus itakuina kuja, kwenye simamia, na kama ujuu kitu chochote cha bus, piko ingine video nye tutafanya, tutawonesha igisi gani utajuu. And lastly, it is important that when your child is on the bus, they stay in their seats and they are not, not up moving around. That is not safe for them to be walking while the bus is moving. 
na tunawaambia kama mwambie watoto wenu wakati yuko mbisi basi kweba na simama basi kweba na zurura zurura mabisi wakone kala fasi moja juu itawasaidia sana and these are things that are important to do in the classroom na hii ni kitu mzuri yenye tutawaambia watakuwa nafanya masomo so it's important that your child sits at their desk or their table quietly in class. They listen to the teacher and they raise their hand to ask a question or if they need to leave. Na ya kwanza tunaambia kama mwambie watoto wenu wakone kala kukiti zenye walima mewapatia. Wakikuwa na tatizo wanyoroshe mkono juu waseme kama ikuwa na tatizo waseme yu tatizo. Na mwambie bakwe wana, uh, wana ongerea masomo wakati wanajua kama majibu ni hii. Mwalima kiuliza mwenye najua majibu batima mikono yabo juu alafu wase majin, ma, majibu enye banajua. Na wakua nafanya kazi ya masomo, wakua nasikiliza mwalimu na mikono yao ibaki ku, eh, basiguse kukila mutu. Yani basiguse kukila mutu. Okay, this information is very important because these are medical documents that you need to turn in for your child. Na hii papia nye hiku wapia nye tunaona ni papia nye muta beba kumasomo ya watote nye umetoa kwa mganga. So if your child is in preschool or elementary school, they will need to turn in an eye exam, a health screening, an immunization certificate, and if they are three to six years old, a dental form. All of these are turned into their school. Na mtoto yako akiwa kama yiko na masomo ya kwanzia ama mprimere, tuta waomba walete papie ya kutoka kwa doktere ya macho, na ingine nyinaonesha kama mwilawe yiko sawa, na ingine nyamechukua juu ya mashindana wa mapatia kumasomo. Na kama... Iko na miaka tatu kumiaka sita, alete ya kutoka kwa mganga juu ya menu yake. And if your child is in middle or high school, they will only need to turn in a physical, which is a health screening, and their immunization certificate. Na hii ngini na manisha kama, ya kwanza mesema kama ni mtote mnyoko masome ya kwanzia ama maternel, ya ngini ni primere na segondere, wataleta... Ya kwanza njinaonesha kama mwile yako yako sawa. Yengine wataleta ni ya kwanesha gisi kama mesha bapiga sile sindano. Na kama uko na ngine tatizo, uneza kaangalia Ash, Kyla, Megan na Lisa. Also, if your child is going to the doctor during the school day, it's important that you ask them for a doctor's note to turn back into the school. Kama mtote yako wa mishinda masomo ujua amenda kwa mganga, uliza doktere akupatia papia kuweba kumasomo ya kukuangalia kama, ya kukuakikisha kama ulikuwa kwa doktere, juu walimu wajua kama ye siku ulikuwa kwa doktere tumusame na na ingine inamanisha kama mkwemu na wambia walete papia za kutoka kwa doktere wakati nya kuenda kumasomo. And you can send the doctor's note to school with your child to turn in, or you can bring them here to KRM and we can help send them to the school. Uh, na ukikamata hizo papiza kutoka kwa doktere, unaza kazi peleka kumasomo kwa, ma, kwa walimu ya mtoto yako, ama masomo ni mtoto yako naenda eko, ama unaza kazi leta kwa Ash, Kayla, na Megan, na, na Lisa. Hapa kwa KRM. Some of the schools may give your child a folder or a planner that they need to take back and forth to school every day. Here is where you will find notes from the teacher and any homework or assignments that your child may have. Iye nye kwa papiko yenye mwalima takuwa na kuandikia barue yenye nataka kukujulisha 
na hii ndio itakuwa na masomo ya yenye wametoa ku masomo wameva nyumbani juu bajaze yenye viko ndani so it's very important that you look in the folder and planner every night so that you, you and your child do not miss anything important. Okay, now we will talk about something we call bullying. Na hapa tunataka ongelee kitu nyaba naita bullying kuchokozana na masomo. So if you are not familiar with this, bullying is the repeated physical or verbal aggressive behavior that is meant to hurt another person. Na kama ujui gisi na manisha ya bullying na manisha kama ni kama kugombana ama kufanya kitu cha mbaya chenye kinaza kafanya mwingine mtu juu asi kwa mzuri yani itafanya mwingine mtu anaweza kaanguka chini unaweza kumvunja kitu mbaya inaweza kutoka kwake sasa tutaki If your child tells you that they are being bullied at school we ask that you tell them to let an adult at their school know and to tell you about it also Mtotake kuambia kama yuko anabakiwa na mchokoza kwa masomo mwambie atafute mtu mwenye ataambia kwa masomo kama mwalimu yake ama mwingine mtu mkubwa mwenye ataona masomo amwambie gisi gani kwa anamchokoza And if they if your child does tell you that they have been bullied at school you can also tell your child's teacher or someone else at the school and let someone here at KRM know so that we can help address it. Na mtotoke kuambia kama yuko na mchokoza kwa masomo unaweza kaandikia barua mwalimu yake ama unamuita kwa telefoni na ukitaka unaweza kukuja KRM unaambia Ashe Kaila na Megan ama Lisa. Yaani mtu anataambia mwaba wote watakusaidia kutatizo nitakuwa naendeka kwa mtoto wako juu asikia iko mzuri kwa masomo. The last thing we are going to talk about is a program called Rise Up. Ya mwisho tunataka ongelea inasema kama ni Rise Up, ni ya kuamanisha kama ukitaka usaidizi kwenye utaenda na mwenye utakusaidia. So this program is for students who are 16 to 21 years old and it helps them with college and career readiness. Sasa hii ni ya watoto wenye na miaka ama watu wenye na miaka 16 kufikia miaka ama 12 na moja. Na itawasaidia bitu wenye kuendelea na college ama kuwasaidia chini watajisomea kama wanata au juu chini watasomea itawasaidia kujua chini wanatasomea na kitu gani wanaweza kufanya bakimaliza masomo. And some of the things that they will do in this program is get help with college applications. They may take college visits. They may have workshops about college and there's also a mentor program. Sasa hii ni muhimu sana juu itawasaidia kufanya maplikasyo ya masomo kama mtoto wako anataenda ku college. Huyu mtu mwenye kwa hapa hii foto yenye tunaona hapa atawasaidia kuapplicate ku college yenye wanataka kuenda huko na atawasaidia waende kwa hiyo college mbele ya kwanza masomo juu asikie kama anaipenda na kama waipendi watamwambia yengine juu awasaidie kupata masomo yenye anataka na huyu mtu mwenye kwa hapa atawasaidia kwa kitu cha mkicho awasaidie kuongelesha kitu gani anaweza kufanya gisi gani anaweza kufanya hivi yana atakusaidia So if you or your child are interested in this program, you can contact Logan Stearman, who's in this picture here at KRM and she can help you. Kama mtoto wako anasikia kama anapenda hii, hii program yenye batakao wanaanza, unaweza kaita mtu mwenye anaitwa Logan. Utamwita utaambia majina yako na utamwambia kama unataka na wewe kwa my program na atakusaidia. 
So the last thing we want to do is show you everybody who is on our team here at KRM for family and youth services. Sasa hapa tunata tuambie batu gani wanaweza kukusaidia kwa watoto wenye uko na miaka ile tumesema na batu gani wanaosaidia kufikia kwenye banatak. So we have Lisa, Megan, Lisa, Megan Myself, Kayla. Na Kayla. Ash. Na Ash. Ali. Ali. Jenny. Jenny. Logan. Logan. And Adrian. Na Adrian. So all of us can help you with anything related to school for your child. Awa watu nyo no napa wanaza kakusaidia mkitu nyo nataka kuhusu masome wa toto yako. And if you need to contact us, here is our phone number. Na ukita kuita kiare mwindo ni mero utaita wakati uko na tatizo. Ukita ini ni mero utahambia kama niko na tatizo ii na ii na ii na watakusaidi. And that is all we have for you. So we hope you have a great school year. And thank you for watching. Bye. Mmefanya mzuri sana kuangalia na hii ndio tulikuwa nayo kuwafundisha juu ya kubakia juu ya kurudi kumasomo. Bye. <laughs>